Welcome back to A Farm West of Boring, where life is anything but boring. Uh, it is the next day and we're working on building a log bunk for loading logs on to that so we can get it onto the sawmill bed easier. Uh, we have some pretty big logs and I don't think my tractor is going to have the ability to pull them onto the sawmill bed safely. So we're making a log bunk. Yesterday and the day before I cut some beams out of some old logs, cants if you will, and uh, we're going to go ahead and see if we can build this up into a decent log bunk. So there's one of the beams, about 10 by 10. It does have some wing on it, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. There's the other one. It's 10 by 10. It's a little bit longer, so I guess I'll cut that off. I don't know if it makes too much difference. But I want to have it set so that our door will close. So this one probably needs to come in just a little bit. Yeah, we could go in probably six inches there. And that one's pretty good, so I don't think we need to move that one. Next thing I need to do is find out where the center of the logs will be if they were full length. that I laid out are just about just about right so next thing you do is to get these things level they don't really have to be level but I don't want them tipped us over the log rolls one way or the other so we'll see how we can do that okay so I've got my laser set up here let's see if we can see this in the bright sun okay there's 45 inches there 44 and a half, 44 and 3 eighths, 45 and a half, 47. So we see sliding the ground. So do I want to kill myself or do I want to get the tractor? Get the tractor. I want it to come right about there. this a little bit over this way. Five feet. And 5'11". 
five foot feet. It's gotta go that way. Six feet. Six foot. Okay. Now let's measure the height. Boy, that's around about 45. 44 and a half. A half inch worth worrying about? I don't think so. We've got two 10 inch. Well, let's measure them to be sure. 10 inch, 10 inch, and they're basically parallel and about the same height. This corner's about a half inch high. I don't really want to mess around with them anymore. So I think we'll leave it at that. Now we need to go get a eight by eight cross member to put across put across here and then we'll put a couple of spacers down at those ends and then put two more eight by eights on top and that should bring us up to about 22 inches let's see just 10 18 24 that's what we want about 22 inches <clears throat> so what i'm planning on doing is cutting two inches out of the cross member and two inches out of the bottom one which would be four inches which then will take this down to set a 20 inches high 16 inches high and then with the eight by eights that'd be 24 so we could cut a couple inches into those so maybe i should go inch and a half instead of two inches go inch and a half that side over there, since it's not completely square, is going to be a little bit tougher, but at least this should be able to lock, lock them in together so that they will be a little bit more stable. So we're going to go ahead and try and cut this with this chainsaw. So there we've got inch and a half, we'll have to smooth that out a little bit and use the chainsaw to smooth that out a little bit. Okay, so that's 10 inches, exactly, 10 by 10. Okay, so I've got the inch and a half notch out of both ends of that 10 by 10. So I'll have to cut another inch and a half out of the bottom one, set that down in there. But boy, that's it's in there pretty solid. I don't know. Maybe I don't have to do the other inch and a half. Well, it'd make it a lot stronger because you'd not only have would not only be tied in this way but it'd be tied in the other way so 
it would be stronger, so I'd better do it. But I think it's time for lunch right now. Then it's starting to rain a little bit. Well, June 15th is the last day of burning around here, so we better get this wood pile here burned up between now and then. Uh, it's a pretty good day for burning because it's not too much wind and a little bit of a drizzle. We, this is the other cut, inch and a half deep. Eh, here over 10. Mm, here over 10. And that's just 10. And that's just 10. So it's a little bit large. This one here over 10. Here over 10. And this one's just 10. So it should fit. Let's see what happens. Just the pants. <laughs> It looks pretty good. I'll have to look at the ends here and see how. Probably can be, probably needs to be down just a little bit further. But I think it's pretty much in there. And this one's tight. This one's tight. I don't think it's going anywhere. excavator in here, I'd probably could tear it apart. All right.
eight by eight on here. Saw, saw bed is 22 and a half, and that's a little bit higher, so it's about, about the same. So here's a 4x6 that I had to buy at Home Depot. see how bubble that is. Wow, that's that's just about level. things to be accurate. on we'll put a strap across the back here Here's the finished concept. Um, these 4x6s will slide in and go over to the saw bed. The main thing holding this together is this 10x10 cross piece here that's notched down into the bottom rails. And I will use timber locks, log screws 
to screw these 8x8s in. I'll probably put a 2x4 or 2x6 piece underneath here to keep them from sliding forward or back. And then this, I will, since this bottom one is an 8-incher, I'm going to go ahead and put a, probably a 2x6 up the side, 2x6 up the side here and screw that in, maybe on both sides. On this one, I'm not so lucky because the bottom piece is a 10-incher. I guess I could saw that out a little bit and put a couple of side supports on here. That'd probably be a good, be a good idea. But there's the log bunk. Now I'm waiting for some aluminum ramps, six foot aluminum ramps that will go, sorry for the gloves, it'll go from there down to there. And then I will have a cable, sorry for this, I'll have a cable hooked in. I'll probably put a four by eight or something across the end there. And then I'll hook the cable into that, run it out underneath, underneath the log, back up into a snatch block, and then back out to the tractor. And then that's how I'm gonna roll the, that thing up those ramps and get this thing loaded. I'm hoping this will work. I think it's pretty dang solid. It's heavier than snot. Gonna hope for the best. Thanks for coming along. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to follow us further down the road here as we mill up some of this, uh, some of those big, huge logs we've got over there and make some lumber so that we can make a expensive chicken shed. And then also after that's made, then we're going to go ahead and make a new sawmill shed outside here so we can move that sawmill out of here. That's one reason why I wanted to make this so it will come apart so that we can move it over there over by those blackberries, which is where I'm going to build, make the uh, sawmill shed. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of further uh, videos uh, as we go down this journey of milling these logs and getting ready to build the um, chicken coop and the new sawmill shed. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.